Hey everybody, Chris here at Katana. This video is a brief introduction to Katana's Shopify integration. To get started, log into your account and go to settings and check out your integrations. And then you'll see the Shopify logo here and the blue connect button. Go ahead and open this up and type in your store name. Mine is awesome-longboards.myshopify.com and hit next. This page will give you your initial data import settings. It allows you to select if you want to import all of your customers, all of your products, your initial stock levels, as well as any custom items that you have in open sales orders, which can be brought into Katana as new products. Once you decide you have the correct configuration for your needs, go ahead and select next here. What it will do is then tell you all of the items that you're going to bring in during your initial connection as well as give you the opportunity to turn on your automatic sales order synchronization. What this is, is for every sales order that gets pulled in from Shopify into Katana, you actually create a sync between them based on their fulfillment status. So if you change the fulfillment status of a sales order inside of Shopify, it will also change the corresponding sales order inside of Katana and vice versa. So anything that is marked as delivered inside of Katana will then become marked as fulfilled in Shopify. It's that simple. If you decide that you wanna turn that on, just click on yes and hit okay, connect my store. This will bring you back into Shopify where it will ask you to connect Katana to your Shopify account and give you the permission to install the app and it will begin the import process. During the import process, it will pull in all of your products, your initial stock levels, your customers, as well as your sales orders along with their corresponding sales order statuses. It looks like our import is now complete. So let's click on the blue button down below to check out the sales orders that got pulled in. As you can see on my sales page, I have these three orders for Elvis, James, and John. They're currently unfulfilled. And if we check them out on our Shopify page, our open orders here for John, James, and Elvis also exist as unfulfilled. Inside of Katana, I can see that I have product available in stock for two of these orders. So if I go ahead and ship this one out and mark it as delivered for Elvis, then what will happen is Elvis's order over here will also change its status and disappear from this list. And so it has. And that right there is our sales order fulfillment sync. When we head back into Katana to see where all of this information saved during the import process, you can find all of your customers in the contact screen here where you'll see their name and their email address all of your products will appear in the item screen where you have the corresponding SKU, the product name, and their default sales price. And if you chose the option to import your initial stock values, you can find that here in the stock screen where next to each product you'll have the in stock amount. As the connection continues to remain live and new sales orders populate your sales grid, any new product or customer that gets added onto those sales orders will automatically populate into Katana's database. So that way you're always up to date with what's currently happening in your sales activities when it comes to customers and products. If you have any specific questions about this integration, you can send us a message to support at katanamrp.com or go to our website, katanamrp.com and in the lower right hand corner, you'll see a chat widget where I or one of my colleagues could answer any questions you might have. So that wraps it up for Katana's Shopify integration. Have a great day and happy manufacturing.